during development of the great vessels, the proximal right six aortic arch becomes part of which of the following structures? So we want to know about the right six aortic arch, and it's the proximal part of the right six aortic arch. Uh, let's look at this uh, diagrammatic representation that is shown on the stamp. There are six uh, aortic arches, and we can immediately predict that the first and second aortic arches, they actually they disappear and they have no derivatives. The third and fourth, they persist, and the fifth disappear, but the sixth aortic arch will partially remain. So we are left with the third, fourth, and six aortic arches. Now let's go back to the options. Is it the arch of the aorta? The first option, A, the arch of the aorta? No. Actually here we have, this is the uh, ascending aorta and the pulmonary trunk. They are derived from the truncus arteriosus. The arch of the aorta, uh, the proximal part of the arch of the aorta up to the level of the left common carotid artery, in addition to the brachiocephalic trunk, is derived from the aortic sac. Now, the remaining part of the arch of the aorta is derived from the fourth aortic arch together with the left dorsal aorta, left fourth aortic arch and left dorsal aorta. So it is not the arch of the aorta. Ductus arteriosus, what is the ductus arteriosus? Ductus arteriosus is the channel. This is the location of the channel here. It is um, a channel that sort short circuit the lung between the left pulmonary artery and the uh, arch of the aorta. Actually, it is formed by the distal part of the left six aortic arch. But actually, as we have seen here, we are looking for the proximal part of the right six aortic arch, not the distal of the left six aortic arch. So it is invalid. Now, option C, right common carotid artery this is the right common carotid artery actually the uh, right and left common carotid arteries they are derived from the third aortic arch third aortic arch so it is not the sixth aortic arch right subclavian artery this is the right subclavian artery right subclavian artery is derived from the fourth aortic arch now, the last option, option E, right pulmonary artery. This is the right pulmonary artery. Actually, the right pulmonary artery is derived from the six aortic arch. Both pulmonary arteries are derived from six aortic arch, whether the left or the right pulmonary artery. But on the left side, the six aortic arch persists. The whole of it persists. The proximal part will form the left pulmonary artery, and the distal part will form the ductus arteriosus, as we mentioned, and then this ductus arteriosus will form the ligamentum arteriosum later on. But on the right side, it's only the proximal part of the six aortic arch that persists. The distal part of the six aortic arch will disappear. So the proximal part of the right six aortic arch will form the right pulmonary artery.